Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's beer review, we're jumping into a beer from Oliphant Brewing Company. Um, we've done uh, just a small handful of their beers, uh, not a ton. Uh, it's been, uh, I feel like, several months uh, since the last one I had from them. I did get this one from Tavor, uh, same place I've gotten all of my Oliphant beers. Uh, they are based in Somerset, Wisconsin, and today's beer in question is called Somos Extremos. Uh, this is a golden ale The clocks in at 6.5% ABV and it's been brewed with Peruvian coffee. So uh, Somos Extremos, uh, Spanish for we are extreme. And I'm guessing that's, um, you know, a nod to what they've done with this, a golden ale. I've had uh, many golden ales over the years, uh, some that have additives, uh, but I never would have thought that coffee would be an additive I would find in one. So uh, yeah, pre pretty cool. Um, label art on here, I'm not sure how best to describe it. It's kind of weird looking, and then it's got these kind of cartoon faces rolling around the can. I'm not sure the, uh, the point behind that. I'm guessing it's like cartoon renditions of the people that work at the brewery. Nonetheless, we're gonna get this cracked. Got our nice tall all-purpose glass here today. All right, get this poured right in. Yep, yep, okay, so this is pouring just a little bit darker than your average golden ale, but uh, then again, it does have added coffee. So it's obviously going to pick up at least some hue from the coffee beans, no question about it. All right, so visually, yeah, this, this is getting a little closer to amber than your traditional true golden color, but I would say it's still in the spectrum. It's just on the darker end, and I did expect that since it's got added coffee. Um, it looks very, very nice. This one is pretty active in terms of carbonation. I can see the uh, uh, bubbles rushing up pretty quickly, and it is pretty tight, uh, tiny champagne-like bubbles, so I'm sure that helped contribute to this very luscious thick head here. Let's just give this a sniff. Oh wow, yeah. So that's an interesting aroma. Um, it, it smells very much like a classic golden ale underneath. The golden ale base smells very nice. It smells very doughy, very bready, very yeasty, but then there's distinctly coffee underneath there as well on the nose. And a little bit of kind of floral sweetness on there. So it smells pretty much exactly what I expected it would smell like. I would say for a golden ale, it's got a more pronounced aroma than your average golden ale. Um, even the base beer itself, coffee notwithstanding, definitely, definitely more pronounced than your average golden ale. But guys, it looks fantastic. It sounds interesting. Let's just jump right in and see what this one's about. Take one. Ooh, okay, yeah. That's a nice beer, that's interesting. Yeah, you, you, you get golden ale and then you get coffee. Kind of throws your mind for a loop because it's not a pair of flavors that you would normally expect to find together. Uh, but I like it. So before we even get into the flavor profile, let's talk about the body. Let's talk about the mouthfeel. The body on this is kind of a medium light. It's um, maybe not quite as heavy as you would expect for 6.5% ABV, but it feels uh, mostly, mostly kind of what I anticipated. Uh, the mouthfeel on the other hand actually is very lush, very silky. It does feel like a thicker beer when you're agitating it on the palate, just the resistance it has compared to the body. So the body's not quite as heavy uh, and the mouthfeel is a bit thicker. So it's close to what I expected, uh, but slight deviations there. Um, in terms of the flavor profile, so when you swallow, the first thing you get is that underneath um, base, you know, beer itself, you get the golden ale side of the equation. And it immediately pops with this slight fruitiness and it pops with this very um, malt forward character. And this one is kind of a doughy bready, but within about the first second, the coffee pops. And it just, it's almost jarring. Even though I know it's in there, it's just not a flavor combination that I associate with this beer style. Um, I gotta say, on first sip, it's a little bit interesting, but as the intensity dials back, as it's, it's going through the end of the finish, it starts to really work together. So it's kind of an interesting combination, uh, a golden ale base with added coffee. Uh, can't say as though I've ever had one, um, and it's definitely unique. It, it kind of takes a little bit to let your brain wrap, wrap itself around what you just experienced. 
uh, but I gotta say it's enjoyable. Not a combination I've ever seen, not a combination I ever would think that I'd see, but when I saw it on Tavour, I said, that's interesting, let's try it. Yeah, I like this, this is a good beer. So I'm gonna jump back in for a second sip. I'm gonna let everything re-intensify, make sure I didn't miss any nuance in this flavor profile. Then we're gonna talk about the balance and the finish. So take two. Yeah, you get that, that doughiness, that breadiness, slight fruitiness, and I think some of this fruitiness might be coming out of the coffee as well. And within that first second, the coffee flavor just rushes up and it kind of overtakes the underlying malt bill a little bit. Once you get about the three second mark, it settles down and they're almost on an even playing field. So you almost get kind of the sensation like you're sipping a cup of coffee with like a side of toast. Because it's got a very bread kind of crumb, crusty, toasty, um, uh, vibe to the malt bill and coffee obviously pairs well with toast and that's kind of the vibe I get so when you first get the flavors popping it's a little bit weird because there's this this floral kind of fruity accent side and this rather kind of doughy side and then immediate rush of coffee and then they kind of settle and work together so once you get to about the three four second mark like it makes perfect sense it's just on the front side the way that the flavors stack, it's a little bit weird, but it doesn't take long for it to settle down, and then it's a really, really nice flavor combination. At least that's how I'm experiencing it. So yeah, it's it's a bit more kind of floral and fruity on the front um, that I caught on second sip than I got on the first, and there's definite uh, cracker toast kind of crumb vibes that come out Im almost immediately as you swallow, and then certainly once the intensity of that coffee rush kind of settles down. It uh, really evens out and leans very strongly into that kind of toast side of the malt bill. It's very, very nice. Um, in terms of the balance on this, I think they did a good job. I mean, obviously with something like this, it's the balance of the malts and the yeast and the hops and the base beer itself. Uh, this is not a beer that seems particularly bitter. Most golden ales are not, this is not either. Uh, but uh, the coffee, that's kind of the key component here. That's the interesting monkey wrench they threw. I think whatever coffee blend they used works well in this beer. And I think that they used uh, probably right on the money for the right amount. Because you can really get the underlying base beer style itself of the golden ale, especially since it's only clocking in at 6.5% ABV. This doesn't have, um, you know, it's not an imperial. They didn't dump boatloads of malt in there. So to get the coffee to pair with this and then not overpower the the base beer itself, well done. Um, so I would say, yeah, they, they nailed the balance. In terms of the finish, a much longer finish than your average golden ale, this one does actually end with a little bit of dryness uh, on the palate, which you don't typically see on a golden ale, um, but it's slight, it, it's not over the top. Uh, but for sure, it is the coffee that lingers on the palate, and it lingers for way longer than I would think, given, all, given the overall impression of the intensity I have on my palate. It does linger way, way, way longer on the back of each sip, uh, well in excess of a minute, and that's quite rare for Golden Ale. So all in all, a very unique Golden Ale drinking experience, uh, one that I am definitely enjoying. Um, didn't know what to expect, but now that I've had it, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm gonna take my time sip on this coat with my scores, when we come back, we will get this beer ranked from top to bottom. All right, now that we've gotten to enjoy this beer, we're gonna get it ranked. This was Olafanta Brewing Company's Somos Extremos, a golden ale that clocked in at 6.5% ABV. This one was brewed with Peruvian coffee. Uh, Olafant based in Somerset, Wisconsin. So this was a very good beer. Um, I knew that I was gonna grab it when I saw it on Tavour because I certainly had never had a golden nail with coffee. Wasn't exactly sure how that would work out. And yeah, it was an interesting beer drinking experience. It kind of throws your brain for a little bit of a loop. What is that I'm tasting? These don't go together. And then when it settles down after just a few seconds, it's just a beautiful combination of flavors that works extremely, extremely well together. It almost begs the question, why have I never seen this uh, from any other brewers? But regardless, uh, this beer did a great job across the board. Um, only a single category on this one that did not get a perfect score, and that was the body. So the body on this beer uh, for the beer type and the ABV range 
was not quite as uh, robust as I expected. It was really just low end of average. And, um, you know, I mean, you never really know what you're getting with the golden ale. It is what it is. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't top tier. It was really just kind of low end of average. I would have expected at least a full round medium. And it was really just kind of hovering in the medium light territory. So I did give the body a 4 out of 10. But the remaining 9 categories do, of course, get a perfect 10 out of 10. That is aroma, taste, mouthfeel, finish, head and retention, appearance, balance, my subjective thoughts, category, and example of style. So the total score on Oliphant Brewing Company's Somos Extremos is a 94 out of 100. Guys, this was a great beer. Uh, didn't know what to expect. Didn't know how well coffee and a gold nail would work. Uh, but yeah, it turns out it worked quite well. That That's the verdict. If you're uh, into trying beers that, you know, maybe have a twist on them that you haven't seen, before, uh, this is probably one you've never tried. A coffee golden ale, I do highly recommend it. If you're a fan of coffee beers or golden ales in general, this is one to put on your radar. Folks, that is today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live, just turn on your notifications by hitting that bell icon. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.